If you live in a rural or suburban area without access to public sewer systems, chances are you rely on a septic system to manage your wastewater. It's an unsung hero of your home, keeping things running smoothly, out of sight, and out of mind. But did you know that the type of soil on your property plays a key role in how effective your septic system is? Soil matters more than you think. And today, we're breaking down what makes the best soil for a septic system. And stick around, because this could save you tons of money and headaches down the line. So why does soil type even matter? Well, your septic system does more than just send wastewater underground. Once the wastewater leaves the tank, it seeps into the surrounding soil. That's called the drain field. The soil filters harmful bacteria and treats the water before it gets into our water supply. If the soil isn't suitable, you could face issues like poor drainage, system backups, or even contamination of groundwater. Yikes, right? So what makes soil suitable? Here are the big three things to look for in your soil. Permeability. Your soil needs to breathe, so water can pass through it at a steady pace. If water drains too slowly, you're looking at backups too quickly and it might not treat the wastewater properly. Absorption capacity. Your household generates gallons of wastewater every day. The soil needs to be able to soak it all up without turning into a swamp. Depth to water table. If the water table, that means the underground water level, is too high, the untreated wastewater could mix with clean groundwater. Not a good situation for anyone. What about soils that don't work? Compacted or clay-heavy soils are a major no. These hold on to water for way too long, making them terrible for drainage. Plus, you could end up with clogged or failed systems and nobody wants to deal with that mess. On the other hand, sandy soils drain too quickly. While that might sound nice, it doesn't give the wastewater enough time to be treated properly. The goal is balance. Enter loomy soil the ultimate MVP for septic systems. Lumi soil is a mix of sand, silt, and clay, and it strikes the perfect balance. It drains well without drying out too quickly and retains just enough moisture to filter wastewater effectively. This makes it ideal for something called a percolation, perk test. During a perk test, water is poured into a hole to see how fast it's absorbed by the soil. If your soil is loamy, the results are usually just right. You might be thinking, how can I figure out what kind of soil I have? Don't worry, you don't need to be a soil scientist just yet. Tools like Landgate make it super easy. We provide free property reports with detailed information about your soil on the property, including its type, quality, and where it's located on your land. It even helps identify the best spots for your perk test, saving you time and money. So if you're planning a septic system, don't underestimate the power of good soil. Aim for loomy soil with its great permeability, solid absorption, and a deep water table. And avoid those compacted or overly sandy soils at all costs. Take advantage of tools like LandApp from Landgate to help you pinpoint exactly what kind of soil you're dealing with and where to test it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. If you're interested in subscribing to LandApp, check the description for a link. Thanks so much for watching.